Hello guys welcome to Mr. Out theme channel. Forest fires have transformed southeastern Australia into a charred country when it is facing a devastating fire season. The fires are expected to worsen as the summer months continue. Ok guys before we continue this important discussion, please subscribe first and activate the notification bell so you don't miss further information from me. Forest fires that occur in Australia cause the destruction of the habitat of wild animals native to Australia such as kangaroos, koalas, birds, reptiles, and others. Most of the animals also died from forest fires. Since the fires first broke out in early September, hundreds of homes have been lost, more than 5 million hectares of forest and agricultural land have been charred, and at least 24 people have been killed. Ecologists from the University of Sydney estimate that nearly half a billion mammals, birds and reptiles have died since the fire began. It is estimated, the number of animals killed is 480 million, including 8,000 koalas. Susan Lay, Australia's Environment Minister, told the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, the number of animals affected could not be confirmed until the fire was put out. When fires hit Australia, not only koalas were threatened, but also native Australian wildlife. Vicky Lett, a wildlife guard volunteer in New South Wales NSW, who has worked for 32 years, said the fire that burned Australia was unprecedented. Rehabilitated animals include koalas, wallabies, kangaroos, and various species of possums, can take months. To release them back to their natural habitat takes a long time, because it must be ensured their natural habitat is in good condition. With the scale of the fires this year, it is unclear how long it will take to rejuvenate and allow the release of animals into natural habitats. Fire has also caused a decline in birds, rodents and insects. Forest fires are a well-understood threat, but fires that now burn across the country are described as unprecedented in terms of ferocity and scale. Fires begin for a number of reasons, from cigarettes thrown carelessly to lightning strikes that cause combustion. However, this is also supported by several other factors, such as lack of rain and low soil moisture. These conditions allow a small fire to enlarge in quick time. Coupled with the high temperatures and strong winds that Australia has experienced in recent months, this small fire can become big. In addition, with the fire season getting longer, the time to minimize fires is getting smaller, thus providing opportunities for fires to get bigger and harder to extinguish. The risk of forest fires in the summer of 2019 is known by the head of the Australian Fire Department. It has been trying to meet with Scott Morrison, Australia's Prime Minister, since April. But they were constantly rejected. These forest fires were not started by climate change, but were exacerbated by the effects of global warming. The Climate Council, an independent community-funded climate organization, states that forest fires are now more dangerous than in the past, with longer fire seasons, drought, and drier soils and rising heat. The link between forest fires and climate change has become political lately, but experts agree climate change explains unprecedented natural disasters. In particular, Australia, which experienced its hottest year in 2019, rose 1.5 degrees Celsius higher than the average, according to a meteorological agency report. Rising temperatures increase the risk of forest fires, and in November, Sydney experiences a major fire hazard for the first time. The impact of forest fires is also quite terrible, as happened during the Amazon fire in 2019. Forest fires release carbon dioxide, greenhouse gases, into the atmosphere. Gas, which only forms a small part of the total gas in the atmosphere will trap heat. In only three months, Australian fires are estimated to have released 350 million metric tons of carbon dioxide. Experts warn that a century or more will be needed to absorb the released carbon dioxide. Okay guys that's the information that I can convey, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.